God is good. Now hold your word up high and repeat after me. This is the word. Let it revelate. Let it open the mind of those who read upon its pages. Lord, we just ask you once again to do what we ask every Sunday, God, at this time. Allow your Holy Spirit to come in. God, and be with me, your vessel. God, speak through me what you will have for these people to hear. God, remove all flesh out of your sight, all the circumstances of the weeks, the ups and the downs. Because even I, God, as a, a, a pastor and, and leader, God, I go through my own personal rules. So, God, I ask you to be with me. Give me strength where fatigue is trying to set in, where confidence may be failing. And just as you give it to me, God, I ask you to give it to those that are listening. Give them encouragement to know that even with all the things that's going on around us, that God, some way and somehow, you are sovereignly in control. Nothing moves, nothing shakes without your approval. As we was dealing in Bible study or Sunday school this morning, God, you even work through our bad decisions, through our, our, our choices that doesn't reflect you to bring about our good. So God, at this time, we ask you to allow this word to impact our lives in a way that it keeps us on the right path. It keeps us moving forward. And we ask this in your son, Jesus name, all that are willing and all that agree say amen. Amen. So we're coming out of first John chapter one and we're going to read verse five through 10. <laughs> and it says, this is the message we have held from him, heard from him, and proclaimed to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Now let's look at verse six. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Deacon Stokes, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a load. But if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now, he gives us more understanding. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So don't, don't look at your name and say, I'm sinless. You, you lying. Look at your name and say, you're a liar. And the truth is not to pardon your lips. <laughs> if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Amen. If I was to take on a theme for this morning, Brother Sparks, it would be walk in the light. Amen. Lakita, walk in the light. And then if I was to take a subtitle, it would be children of the light. Mike, you know you're a child of the light. Why are you laughing at me, Brother Mike? Minister Mike, do you know you are a child of the light? Y'all look at Brother Mike and say, Mike, you are a child. Of the light. That means you can't do what you want to do. Look at Micah and say, Micah. Look at her. Say it, Micah. You are a child of the light. Uh-huh. You can't do what you want to do, Micah. I'm putting it on you. Say, Lakita. You are a child of the light. Now point to yourself and say, I am. A child of the light. Deacon Connors, we got to walk in the light. So, this is kind of piggybacking off of last week. Dealing with the fact that we have to say who we are with. Who are you with? Who team are you on? Real quick. Sister Ren, what team are you on? God's team. So, we team Jesus, right? Are you team Jesus? If you team Jesus, let me see your hands go up. 
Where, where my team? There you go. Look, look. If the child in the back can throw his hands up faster than all y'all, I am ashamed. Say, I'm team Jesus. Amen. So I have to walk in the light. I was thinking about this, and you know, you got some animals, Dick and Terry, that love the night. I'm trying to catch this mouse, y'all. Me and my son is trying to catch this mouse, Sister Veronica. And this mouse is a mouse of the night. Soon as the light come on, and I, I finally corner him, he scatters. And I can't get him. He get behind my couch, run up my stairs. I'm like, why can't I catch this mouse? Because he moves, look at your neighbor and say, in darkness. Uh-huh. Y'all got some of them critics in y'all house. They love the nightlight. When you turn that light off, they all trying to find somewhere to hide because cause exposure has come. <laughs> Look at there and say, don't be a child of the light. Night. <laughs> but this was a message. He says, I want to go here. It should be our ambition. Look at your neighbor and say, our ambition. It should be our desire as believers to have fellowship with God, and we want fellowship with him, right? Now, just walk with me. Don't get so, don't start swallowing spit and getting all comfortable. Where is he going this morning? Because last week he hit us with some stuff. I'm going somewhere. Just walk with me. We want, look at David, say fellowship. Ain't that what we strive for, Dick and Terry, is fellowship. I want to have fellowship with God. I want to be in relationship. Look at the name and say, in relationship with God. So, John said, verse 6. Well, stay right there. Stay right there. He said, this is the, now go back, go back, go back, back, Micah. Go back, Micah. Micah, go back. Okay. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaimed to you. This is talking about Jesus. That God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. So the focus is God. And Sister Terry, he wants you to know that God is what? Light. So go to verse 6. If we say we have fellowship with this God that is light, while we walk in darkness... Look at your neighbor and say, we lying. Now, 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 see, don't get, don't get lost here. Don't get lost, Sister Ann. Don't get lost, Anthony. Because I know you ain't got it all together, so don't get lost. And uh, well, I know I ain't got all light in me. I know I don't either. So don't get so lost here that you start to swallow, spit, and get nervous. What are we going to do? I can't walk with her because I know I still got some stuff that ain't right. Yeah, we all do. Look at them and say, me too. Say, look, look uh, 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 Kalisha, me too. We ain't that me too era. Ain't, ain't it me too? Ain't that the thing today? Digging Stokes, me too. <laughs> Digging Stokes, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw He said context. We're going to get with the context. Digging Stokes going to hit me, boy. The context now. He, he, I'm going to walk it out careful, Digging Stokes. So, it says, if we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness. So, we got to figure out what it means to walk in darkness. Sister Terry, that's what we got to figure out. Sister Connors, that's where we got to break it down. We lie and do not practice the truth. So you kind of get it. We lie and do not practice the truth. Look at it and say, what are you practicing? We walk in darkness. We lie and do not practice. So the question I got to have and got to ask is, what does it mean to walk in darkness? Michael, that's what I got to find out. What does it mean to walk in darkness? Go to the next one. Let's see if we can figure it out. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, 
We have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all our sins. So, look at them and say, what is it to walk in darkness? Ask yourself that question real quick. What does it mean to walk in darkness? Deacon Terry, what does it mean to walk in darkness? Because he says, if we say we have no sins, we lie. So it can't be the existence of things that are not like him because that's a part of sanctification. I can have some parts of me that he's still working on, but that don't mean I'm walking in darkness. See, Sister Terry, the heart that walks in darkness is an unrepentant heart. It's a heart that doesn't even see that they are in darkness. That what they are doing is dark, is beneath God. So they practice that's why he said, go back to six real quick. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice. What does it mean to practice? You play sports. How many people play sports in here? Now, or how many people ever practice that something? Whether it's singing, y'all come up here every Saturday to practice and prepare for what? Sister Ann, what you practicing for? Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. So why are you practicing? Sister Veronica, why are you practicing? So that y'all can be on what? One accord, that y'all can know the songs that Mike ain't got a point say that's not the words. That's a key. We in C, y'all. <laughs> we go to the football practice, why? Dick and Terry, because we prepare for the game that's coming up at the end of the week. So what is practice? Practice is those things that you uh, 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 work at to begin to become fundamental. That you learn how to carry oneself. Sister Shirley, you learn the things of God, the ways of God. His, his, what he likes, look at them and say, my desire is what? To please him and to have fellowship. So in order to have fellowship, Sister Wren, I got to learn him. I got to read his word, Sister Kalisha. That means I'm practicing reading his word. I'm practicing praying. I'm practicing studying to know who he is and what he requires of me. Look at them and say, what are you practicing? Because that's it's going to determine if you're walking in light or darkness. I like them crickets. I always get them crickets around this time. Dick and Terry, that's your phone, ain't it? I'm going to call you Mr. Cricket. Every time I say your phone, crick, crick, on cue, Mr. Crickets. The question is, what are you practicing? Because it ain't, don't get lost to perfection because if you was perfect, we wouldn't have needed Christ. Let me say it again. If you was perfect, there was no need for a lamb to come. So we know you're not perfect. And he said, if you are, you claim to be, you are a liar. So don't get lost in imperfection. The question is, how are you practicing in your walk? Do you practice the things of darkness? Or do you practice the things of light? If you practice the things of light, you can say you have fellowship with him even though everything in your life may not reflect him. Let me explain that. Let's use Peter as an example and then let's use Judas. Peter missed it a whole lot, Deacon Connors. Peter was the one who said, when he asked the question, who the man say that I am? And it was Peter, Kalisha, who opened his mouth and said, you are the son of God. And he said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. And then you keep reading and he say, I must die and I got to go to the cross and, uh, and they're coming to get me. And Peter goes and rebukes him and say, this shall not be. And what did Jesus say? Get thee behind me, Satan. 
for you are a hindrance to me because you set your mind on the things of man and not the things of God. He was talking to who? Peter. It was the same one, Deacon Stokes, that he said, Peter, I have prayed for you. Because Satan desires to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that in your moment of failure, Kalisha, he failed. He didn't, he didn't overcome it. No, he succumbed to it. When they began to point to him and say, ain't you one of the ones? Don't you follow him, Lakita? He said, MF, MF, and FM. He started cussing. Did y'all catch that? I see Dick and Terry trying to tie up a tie he don't even have on. Is MF too much? <laughs> flim flam and the flam flim. Is that better? All right. I was just bringing it home. And he said, now, after you have fallen, after you have denied me, after you have rejected the reality that you walk with me, get up and go strengthen your brothers. Look at your neighbor and say, it ain't about perfection. It's about practice. And practice is what is, becomes your person. What you practice. Sow into the flesh. Of the flesh you reap what? Corruption. Sow into the spirit. And of the spirit you reap what? Life. But look at Judas. In the same audience. Heard the same teachings. You can't worship mammon and God. What was Judas' problem? Judas loved money. So when he saw the woman come with her alabaster box of expensive oil and begin to rub Jesus' feet and, and wash his feet with her tears and dry his feet with her hair, he said, you should have gave that money to the poor. But the author wanted you to know he didn't care about the poor. He cared about helping himself to the money that would have been gained if he would have gained it. Who was the one who sold him out with a kiss? After Jesus says, one of y'all are the devil. Now he called Peter Satan, but he understood Peter heart. It goes, I, can, I can tie this right into Sunday school. And we, we'll pull it into Sunday school this morning if y'all miss Sunday school because the little bit I heard ties right on in. Judas didn't have a heart of repentance, but Peter did. And that's what made Peter practice different than Judas. That's why Jesus said, I pray for you, Peter, that your strength fail you not because you're going to fall. It was Peter who Paul had to rebuke when James came around because he couldn't handle the liberty that he was given. Peter wasn't perfect. Look at him and say he wasn't perfect, but he was called. Mike, you ain't, it ain't about perfection. You're going to get better and better as you walk. Long as you know you call and you know who you belong to, that's what you need to know. And long as you ex respect that calling, God will work you through the kinks and the, the slips and the mistakes and the shortcomings. He'll work you into that person of Christ. Just stay with him. Look at your neighbor and say, stay with him. So it's not a perfection thing. It's a heart thing. Look at your neighbor and say, I walk in the light. So when God turns on the lights, Sister Ann and Sister Wren, I'm not like the roach that tries to run behind the couch, tries to run behind the picture on the wall. When the light come on, you got me.
David, when Nathan came and turned on the light, what did David do? Did he make up excuses and say, no, no, he said, I am guilty. And he dropped to his knees and began to what? Repent. See, his heart, Saul, what they was talking about in Sunday school, didn't have a heart of repentance. That's why he walked in darkness. Because he couldn't see what he was doing as wrong. Or wasn't uh, 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 committed enough to acknowledge his wrong. Look at that and say, can I acknowledge, can you acknowledge your wrong? Can you look in that mirror and be honest with what's reflecting back at you? Because God already know. Look at that and say, he know. Ain't nothing hidden. You naked before God. Nigga Terry, he can go down deep into your heart and know why you're doing what you're doing and why you're saying what you're saying. He knows your heart. You can't fool God. So why lie to him when you know your eyes wasn't in the right place and your heart wasn't in the right place and your intentions wasn't in the right place? Why lie about it? God, help me. Look at them and say, help me. Because, let me, look at them and say, we children of the light, right? We children of the light. I am a child of the light. Anthony, sometimes I got to tell the Lord because I am a child, help me. Digga Stoke, sometimes I need the pastor. P-A-S-T-O-R needs help. Do you? See, the problem is, y'all think this is easy. Y'all think that because you claim something, that's it. There, Terry, don't be religious. Don't deceive yourself. This takes work. Look at them and say, this takes commitment. Anthony, this is dying every day. Sometimes you had to die the day before. You, you had to come and talk to people and you just got done dying to yourself. See, I can't talk to real people. Can I be real? Pastor Mo has to die. I hear, put your crickets on again, Dick and Terry. So if I know I have to die, Stokes, that means I know you have to die. We all are having to die. We're all wrestling, look at your neighbor and say, with ourselves. <laughs> with that darkness. Because we won't, look at your neighbor and say, fellowship. See, I want fellowship, Anthony, so I die. And sometimes that dying takes some time because he got to sit on. Look, sometimes I just sit on me, Lord, because I can't die right now. I, I want that. I want to do that. I want to go there. I want to say that. Look at them say, yes, pastor got to do that. <laughs> Digga Stokes, I, I, I feel like they, I feel like we don't, people, look, this ain't going to be a walk of roses. And this thing is hard. When you trying to turn off some stuff in your life that you know God has shined the light on. It's hard trying not to be you. Kalisha, it's hard trying to turn off urges and, and mindsets and old habits and old ways. It tastes good. It looked good. It smelled good. I enjoyed that. I like going there. Look at them and say, but I'm a child of the light. So as God, uh, Torsha begins to 
you ever, I, me see, my, I'm going to tell y'all about my wife, Casey. She in St. Louis right now. Y'all pray her, her safe travels. And Tarsha, don't you call and say nothing about what I'm finna say. I can already see you fixing your eye. You. When my wife cleans, Stokes, it makes me so mad. And I don't know if Sister Veronica does this, but this is what my wife does. Sister Terry, don't do the Brother Terry like this. Torsha, don't do sparks like this. When my wife cleans, she turns up every part of the house. You can't escape her cleaning. Terry, there's nowhere you can go because every light on, every room is tore up at once. So you have to contribute. That's the whole game. I'm going to tear up the bedroom because you can't go in there and lay down. I'm going to tear up the front room so you can't go in there and sit down. I'm going to tear up the kitchen so ain't no point standing at the table in the kitchen. So in other words, help me clean up. Look at them and say participation, partnership, fellowship, relationship. We in this together. And I'll be upset because I'll be wanting to sit down and she untore up the whole house. Sometimes that's what God do to us. He move in and just start turning on the lights. Now you like that, that mouse trying to find somewhere to run and he come and move the couch. And, oh, and he move that. I can't, Lord, what, what can I do? You know, you don't. Can I be real? I'm almost done. Can I be real? Sparks, don't laugh, but you know it's true. And, and what did you do, Sparks? You learned how to exist and thrive in the light. That's why I say it ain't about perfection. It's about being willing to stay in the light. Look at them and say, stay in the light. Yes, you realize you ain't got it together and, and that light is exposing that you ain't got this together, but stay in the light. Let it shine on you. Kalisha, just keep walking. Eventually, you starting to look more like it. Don't, don't run into that dark spot. Don't run over there to that spot. And sometimes the temptation is going to want to pull you there. And sometimes it will pull you. But he come in there and turn that light on. Click. Caught right in that. Click. Oh, Lord, can I get some peace? I just wanted to smoke for a second. Lord, I'm stressed out. I just wanted to unwind. Look at your name and say, I'm a child of the light. Whoo, Lord, I know that landing on some stuff. Amen. But God says, if we walk in the light, we will become the light. I'm skipping over a lot of scriptures. Michael, put up here real quick, and we're going to close on this. Put up uh, 1 Thessalonians. And we may pick this up next week. <clears throat> But I want you to know, man, it's, it's good. The light is good. The key to the light is good. Look at them say, the light is good. Uh-huh. Because he said he chastises whom he loved. He, it was good that Nathan came and turned the lights on David. Because it gave David the opportunity to let Christ be developed in him more than it was in that state. God didn't allow David to stay in his mess. God will not allow you to stay in your mess <clears throat> and find you some accountability partners. Let me say this real quick. Do you know what an accountability partner is? Someone that can hold you accountable. I got one. I got a friend, a minister friend, that I can be bare naked before. And we hold each other accountable. We pray for one another. We share our, 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 our struggles, we share our shortcomings, we share our triumphs and I talk to this brother, he talks to me and he encourages me and I encourage him and I know when I'm in a hard time I can talk to him and I can confess some things to him and he can confess some things to me and we pray for one another, look at them and say you need some accountability partners people that's on your side, that's rooting for your best, that has your best interest in hand and you got to know who that person is because everybody ain't good with your business. But you need someone to help you, listen to me, carry this load. I talk to my wife, but I have a male uh, a friend I've been friends with for years, Trevor and Alfred, and we talk for hours and just share things with one another. But anyway, 
So I'm telling y'all, get some people that can hold you accountable, that you know will tell you the truth when you off. He done said some things to me I just had to swallow, but you, you right. Staff, you, 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 bruh, nah, that ain't, that ain't it. <laughs> I have to deal with that, amen? Thessalonians, it says, for you are all, listen to this, children of the light, children of the day, we are not of the night, are of what? Darkness. Go to the next one. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and what? Be sober. Now it didn't say perfection. Let us, sparks, keep awake. Don't be deceiving yourself. Be alert to what you're doing. Be honest. This didn't reflect God in this moment. And let that truth lead you to him. Because sometimes we can get so comfortable in a thing to the point that that thing gonna pull us so far from God and by the time we finally wake up to where we are, we undrifted off. But good thing about drifting off, when you God, he don't allow you to drift too far before he jolts you. Sister Terry, he hit you with that little, that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> You ever had my father, he catch you with that five finger Dick and Stokes and that was your back. And he catch you one time, oh Lord, I, I don't know if I should tell this story. Hey, Amen, put your hands together, I'm gonna tell this story. I'm almost done, y'all can close y'all books. I remember we were supposed to be Dick and Stokes getting prepared, I mean Dick and Terry getting prepared uh, to go with Christmas. Give me some music, Mike. Kalisha, me and my brother Tay is downstairs and and Kenya is supposed to be watching us. My oldest brother, Kenya, is supposed to be watching us. So me and my younger brother, Tay, we all excited. Don't have any idea that we're doing anything wrong. We just in the house, just excited. Pops gonna come back and take us, and mama, they gonna take us to the mall, they gonna give us a couple of dollars, and we gonna buy ourselves a gift. Cause that's what Tay used to do. Let me look in the camera. Tay used to, Dick and Stones, he'd go buy his own gift, spend all his money on himself and give us candy. Tay, anyway, let me stop. So, and we sitting in the house, we, I guess we cutting up. I remember Kenya and my, trying to get us under control, but <clears throat> we hear the door open up. And at that time, I'm like, oh, he home, Pop's home, we finna go, and we finna go get these toys. He came downstairs, he looked at me, looked at my, uh, uh, Tay, but Sparks, he had a belt in his hand. Now I'm like, wait a minute, we, I don't, Stokes, I don't see money. I see, I see a leather belt, like, what, what? And then he commits, <laughs> what you laughing at me, Sparks, for? He commits to bring correction. I'm like, what? So I'm getting tagged, taking tagged, and he's yelling stuff, but I can't hear him because all I feel is this belt. Because unbeknownst to, unannounced to me, he was looking through the window the whole time. Look at neighbors and say, God knows. If that don't help you, that, I, I don't know what else will. God knows. So he corrected us and then gave us our money, took us to the mall, snots, tears and all. And we bought our gifts, Kalisha. Just a horrible mess at KB Toys, sniffling and trying to find a, a Ninja Turtle for Tay with dry tears on my cheeks cause correction came before joy. Sometimes correction is a part of the Christian walk and God chastises the children of the light. So don't get dismayed when your spirit is not at ease and your, your mind ain't at ease because God is disrupting you because he letting you know you are a child of the light. What you're doing right now is not what ch children of the light do. Look at your name and say, me too. Yes, I get done like that to this day. I ain't perfect. And I hope you didn't call me because you thought I was. Because you made a thorough mistake. But God knows whom he calls and why he calls them. Amen. So I want to leave you with this note. God loves each and every one of y'all. 
and he knows you better than you know yourself. So if this message is for all of us to remind us of who we are. Look at them and say, who am I? I'm the children. I'm a child of what? Uh, so when the light comes on, Terry, you ain't running, are you? Guilty as charged. <laughs> Stokes, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Amen. Put your hands in together in this house. <laughs> Amen. I might continue this next week because what we want is Christ to be fully, Sister Connors, developed in us. That's our ambition. To be like Christ. And Anne and Sister Ren, being like Christ is not instantaneous. Matter of fact, when you see him, it said, then you shall be like him. That means you ain't going to be like him when you see him. Back that up. It says you will be like him when you see him, right? So that means if I'm going to be like him when I see him, I can't be like him before I see him. So that means you ain't going to be perfect until you see him. Then in the moment, in the twinkling of the eye, you shall be like him if you be faithful to him. So it's not perfection, it's faith, it's heart, it's practice. Amen. Put your hands together in this house. <laughs>